right, we are finally here taking a look at the last Kapow algorithm I wanted to look at, that being Neurai on the RTX 4060. We are going to be using BZ Miner for the miner. And then as for the pool, we are using R plant real quick. And then I'm mining to an exchange and I am mining to trade ogre. Not trade ogre, but I do not recommend mining to an exchange. I'm going to hop on over and take a look at the memory type. Majority of the 40 series are Micron, but the 4060 is Hynix. As for the power draw, it's about 55 to 60 watts, but for the whole entire system, it is 145 watts to 150 watts. So not including the GPU, the whole entire system uses 90 watts additional. Um... I'll just go ahead and dive into Nurai. The people that have seen the previous, what, four Kapow <laughs> videos already know. But the people that haven't, um, for the stock hash rate, we should be getting a hash rate of, obviously, with no recording, monitors off, and afterburner, and the miner just running. Uh, a hash rate of 14.86 mega hash to 14.98 mega hash with a power draw of 108 watts to 109 watts reported on the software. And then as for at the wall, I am getting 229 to 230 watts. Now this should give us an efficiency of 136.69 to 137.35. So we're gonna hop on over to the thermals and currently right now it is 77 Fahrenheit in my home and 65 Fahrenheit outside. Come on. Here we go. We've got a temperature of 54 to 55 C for the regular temperature. And then for a hot spot, we have, it looks to be about 66 to about 67 for the hot spot. Unfortunately, I can't read off the memory junction temperature, I guess, because there is no sensor on the 4060, probably due to the fact that there is... A low TDP for it but anyway let's go ahead and close out the miner real quick and then we're going to apply our overclocks with MSI afterburner so we're going to lock the core at 700 millivolts at 1605 megahertz and then we're going to do an offset and of additional 350 on the core and then we're going to bump the memory clock all the way up to 2000 go ahead and confirm that and then restart the miner and with this overclock we should be getting a hash rate of 15.82 mega hash to 15.83 mega hash with a power draw of 85 to 86 watts report of the software and then at the wall I'm getting anywhere from looks like 207 to 209 wattage or watts at the wall this should give us a efficiency of 184.86 to 185.03 for the efficiency and then the final look at thermals. So we're getting 46 to 48 C or 49 C for the regular temperature with a hot spot of looks like a static 57 C. But uh, there will be a link down in the description of 
this same overclock with the actual hash rate with no recording and the monitors having had been turned off and it running for an hour so that things would run stable to make sure that it ran stable. But uh, that is pretty much the end of the video and thanks for watching. Bye.